Hello and welcome back to another episode of Survival Command Blocks. My name is Classic Tim. Last episode we worked on our wheat farm over here, which is going uh, pretty good here. I just emptied it a little bit ago um, to make this bread, so we've got a good steady source of food now, which is always important. Now, like I said last episode, probably the next thing we want to start working on is shelter. However, this is a Command Block series, and I don't feel like building shelter this episode. But I do have to get working on that. For right now, what I want to work on is some sort of storage. And I've already spent some time in a creative world figuring out exactly how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to prototype it right here. And then once we start building um, some sort of uh, structure uh, to store ourselves in, a, a shelter of some kind, um, as, as well as a storage room. i got to get rid of those blocks up there. Then... I'll figure out exactly where I want to put it, but for right now, I'm just going to throw it kind of right here. So our storage uh, system is pretty much limitless. Let's just take this chest. I don't even know why it's there. It is pretty much limitless with command blocks. So we're going to have this chest right here uh, as a deposit chest of some kind. Actually, you know what? We're going to need another chest. So let's grab pieces of wood, and we're going to do their hopper as well. So we're going to say, you know what, let's just make a bunch of chests. Because we're going to need several of them. Okay, and let's go ahead and make two hoppers. Is that how you make a hopper? Yeah. We're going to need at least two, so let's take two. And then we'll take these chests. Okay, so let's put this hopper connecting to that chest, and this chest right there. So the way this, is, uh, this would work is you put items into this chest, they slowly go down into the hopper, and then into this chest. So this is kind of going to be kind of our safety loop here. This chest on top is going to be where we deposit our items, and this chest here on the bottom is where the overflow goes. So basically, for every item that we want to store, we're going to have to do it manually, each item. So this isn't something we're going to be using for all of the items, just something we know we're going to have a lot of. So just cobblestone, wheat over there, because that's going to be farming forever, you know, so on. So anything that isn't going to be sorted is just going to flow down into this chest here. Just as kind of a safety measure. So we use the hopper as um, a trigger. Basically, if it goes down into this, and it's not sorted, they'll continue. But if it is, then we want to get it out of the hopper. So let's work on, what do I have a lot of? I actually don't have a lot of cobblestone. So I'm not sure what I should test this with. Dirt? I have a good amount of dirt. Well, not much. I don't even have a lot of resources to even store here. But I want to get this started right away so that way we're not fumbling over ourselves later. So let's just focus on dirt here. So first things first, let's go make a new scoreboard objective. Objectives, add, and then we'll call it, well, we want it actually to be dirt. And we want that to be a dummy variable. Okay, and for the sake of this, let's go scoreboard Objectives, I want set display, sidebar. Oh, wait, I want dirt. Okay, so uh, nothing is showing up there because uh, the value is zero. So once that becomes something other than zero, it'll show up on a sidebar, just so we can keep track of the dirt we're inputting and outputting. Okay, so we want this to be uh, detected. We want to detect if dirt falls into this block. So let's go here. Let's just put this right here. Let's put this on always active and repeat. All right. So let's go ahead and do test for block. So this command lets us test the specifics of blocks. And we're going to put this like this. And we're going to want this to be, what direction are we facing here? That's negative Z. So we'll go negative 1. So that means we're selecting this hopper right here. And we want to detect if this is a Minecraft hopper, which it is. And I believe it's facing in the 
2 direction. This value here is the direction the hopper is facing. Um, we can actually test that right now. Successfully found the block. Yes, yeah, so if we were to set that to 3. Yeah, see, so it, it, it's expected the value of 3. It was 2. So that would return false. So that value is 2. That means it's facing this way. Okay, now this is detecting if this is a hopper. Obviously this is a hopper. So then we wanna add this bit of code at the end that detects what type of item is in the hopper. And we can do that similarly to how we did it over in the other area by going items. And then we want to open up some brackets. I am looking at my notes here because this is not easy to remember. And then we open up more curly brackets and then we can go slot. And this is selecting the slot of the, um, the hopper here. We only need to test slot zero because every item will go into um, slot zero first. Well, actually, now that I think about it, if we put something in here that, if we put like more than one item in here, they could possibly overlap. Well, maybe I'll add more later. But for right now, let's just work on the first slot and then we'll, we'll try not put too many items in at once. But maybe we can expand this later. Okay, but slot zero. All right. And that just selects the slot. And then we want ID. We want to look for Minecraft dirt. So that means we're detecting dirt. And then I believe you need to add this stuff. Damage of zero. Oh, I almost forgot to put the data types, which I don't know really why you have to do this, but you have to put a B after the zero for zero bytes. And then for damage, you have to do a zero S. I'm not sure what S stands for. Possibly a string, but that wouldn't make sense um, since damage would be a, a byte. But, and then last thing is the count. And we want to look for one. One piece of cobblestone in that slot. Okay, that should do save. And if we look in there, it did not have the required MBT key. So if we go ahead and break this, we can put a piece of cobblestone, I mean dirt, into the first slot. And then it says it finds the, blo finds the block again. If I take it out, it is no longer detecting it. Okay, so now we have the block detected. So what we want to do from then is reset this hopper. So it could, because we don't want the dirt to go through to the chest. So let's go in here and make this a chain, make it always active and make it conditional. So if this is true, this will activate. And then what we're gonna do is set block, negative two, Minecraft hopper two. Okay, so if this is true, it's gonna go through like this and it will replace this hopper with an empty hopper. Just, just by setting the block. And that will delete the piece of dirt inside the hopper and not let it continue through the chest. We'll go ahead and test this one with one piece of dirt right here. So I place that down, does not end up in the chest, does not end up in the hopper because it was deleted as it goes. Now obviously that just deleted our dirt. We didn't store it anywhere. So then we're gonna have to add another command block here. Same thing, put it can do two conditional, chain and always active. And then we want to do um, let's do scoreboard objectives. Actually, we're gonna do scoreboard players add classic Tim dirt one. So every time this goes through, it'll add a piece of dirt to that scoreboard objective. So let's throw this in. As you can see, in dirt, we've got one. One piece of dirt has been stored. It's no longer here, and I can go ahead and safely put this entire stack of dirt in there, and it will clear it all. Now. As you probably noticed, that went incredibly quickly, much faster than a normal hopper would. And the reason is, is because this block is putting a new hopper there. So it resets the delay um, that the hopper usually has um, extracting items. The delay is from the hopper, not from the chest. So by putting a new hopper there every time, we can withdraw one item per tick with no delay. So that actually makes this much more efficient. I didn't do that on purpose. That's just kind of how it worked out.
Okay, so currently we have 65 uh, dirt stored in space right now. You know, we can't access it, we can't get it. So this is pretty much it for the input. That's all we need. And then for every item we want to store, we just add these th three command blocks, and all we have to do is change this from Minecraft dirt uh, to whatever we want to change it to. And then this last one, we have to just um, give a new scoreboard objective for whatever this is. So if you know if it was cobblestone, we'd come in here, change this dirt to cobblestone, and change this dirt to cobblestone as well. And then that's it. This one stays the same. Um, the only thing we'd have to change is also the um, location, because if we put one next to it, we have to subtract it by one, and subtract it by two, and subtract it by three. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll make just like a text file with these three commands in it, and then I can just do control F and replace them, and then add those, you know, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, for all the items I want to add. And this isn't going to stay here. I can put this anywhere. I'll put it underground somewhere below the storage room. So we don't have to see it. All we're going to see is this, and we'll probably put this on the floor. So all we'll actually see is this chest sitting here and this chest on the floor. But that's just the proof of concept right there. All right, so now the, the next important part would be how do we get the items back? So that's what this chest is going to be for. Now this I had some trouble with trying to figure out. And the reason is, is because for some reason, with command blocks here, you cannot actually detect whether a slot in a chest or hopper or anything else is empty. You can only detect whether it's full. Now you'd think, okay, well, if we detect that it's full, all we have to do is, you know, if not full. Which would make sense in programming, but unfortunately command blocks don't work quite the same way as a simple programming language. Command blocks work in the system of, it will continue to go until something is false. So if this is true, it'll go to this one. If this is true, it'll go to this one. If this is true, it'll go to this one. If this is false, it will never go to this one. And there's no way to change that. I can't set this to conditional true, conditional false. It's just conditional. If this one is true, this one will activate, period. There's no if nots. It's just, if it is, continue, period. And there's no way to change that other than actually having redstone, which adds delay and bulk, and it's not um, great, but unfortunately, it's something we're just going to have to do here. Because the problem is, uh, well, we'll see. We'll just get started here, and basically, that's what this command block is going to be doing. Let's see, do I have it copied? I do have it copied, good. So this is an incredibly long command. Not incredibly long, but basically, this command block here is detecting... Um, it's in the wrong spot, actually. I'm going to put this here because another hopper has to go here because the only way we can input um, any number of items into a chest is through a hopper because you just set the first item as that and it gets imported. Um, you can't just set the... Well, you can, but you have no idea how many, how many items are currently in the chest, so it's easier to just add an item to a hopper and have that be inputted. So this will be our input hopper right here, which is why I made two. I'm going to kill this guy. Squealing's getting annoying. Okay, so from this hopper, we put this command in. And what this command is doing is it's testing every single slot from 0 to 26 in this chest. Negative 2, correct? Negative 2, yes. From this chest, making sure every single slot um, has an item in it. Okay? And that's important. So let's just go ahead and set this to chain conditional... Oh, not conditional. Repeat. Always active. Okay, so this is detecting whether this, these um, slots here have an item in it. And that's all we can do. We can't detect whether these slots don't have an item in it, which they all don't right now. So ideally what we want is we want a command block that could say, is there an empty slot inside this chest? If there is, then we can go ahead and add items to it. But we can't do that. We can only detect whether this chest is completely full. So if this chest is completely full, we want to stop adding items to it. So unfortunately, now we're going to have to go ahead and add this comparator. And I'm going to go ahead and sleep here. So unfortunately, we have to add that. Oh, come on. There we go. Add that comparator and then uh, reverse the signal with a redstone torch, which I need. Do I have a stick lying around? 
No, I don't, and I used up all my wood. Well, there we go. Good job being prepared. And of course, there's no trees on this entire island. I'm gonna have to hop over here. So yeah, we're gonna need to uh, invert that signal with a redstone torch in order to make this work. Which, as you'll see, is an issue because that adds a, a few ticks delay um, from when it starts and stops. And when we're adding one item per tick, that's a big deal because that can cause items to either be duplicated or deleted. So let's come swim back. And we'll make this into wood. And we'll make the single stick that we need. Make the redstone torch. Okay. And then we'll need a block right there, and then torch like that. All right, and then a couple of ways we could do this for right now. Let's just throw this guy right here. So this one we're going to use as a, um, a repeating command block, but we're going to keep needs redstone on. So it means only when this torch is activated will this activate. And that should be it, right? Okay, so this is if there's items in this chest. Actually, let's just go ahead and see if I can do this. So let's fill up the chest here. Now I fill up that chest, this will turn on. Just the slots, by the way. They don't have to be full stacks, just the slots in general. And that's important so that we don't lose any items. As you can see, um, once it's full, this goes on, and then this is no longer activated. So what we want this command block to say is um, test for... How do you do this again? Test for classic Tim. Well, let's just do test for at P and then open brackets. And then we want to do score underscore dirt underscore min equals one. So this will, I'm gonna go ahead and break this for right now because I don't want this to start activating until we're ready because I don't wanna lose the 60, 65 items. But yeah, so test four um, at P, so me, um, score dirt minimum one. So this is detecting, okay, do we have one or more dirt stored? And if that's true, then we wanna continue on to this block. And from this block, we want to add an item to this hopper. Now, instead of just adding an item to the hopper, I'm going to cheat a little bit and use the kind of exploit we did over here by adding a new hopper to get past the delay. I'm gonna do the same thing over here by doing, instead of just um, add item or replace item, we're gonna do set block and place a whole new hopper there. Minecraft hopper, um, set it back to two, and then we're gonna end up here with replace, and then we can add some a data value. And I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little bit here and go over here and grab the data value from this. And this has cobblestone or dirt in the first slot. So we'll copy that and put this right there, done. Now that will replace this. I'm gonna go ahead and test that really quick. That did not work. Minecraft hopper is not a valid number. Oh, made a mistake here. Oh yeah, obviously. Didn't put the coordinates. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're at negative one, two, three, four, five, six. Negative six. So we'll set the block at negative six. Okay, now let's test it. And there we go, we just spawned in that piece of dirt, but I deleted the piece of dirt earlier, so we'll just consider that even. And it didn't go into here because this is full. So we'll take all those out and that'll go off. But we removed the redstone, so this isn't currently playing or else we'd be duplicating a bunch of dirt right now, which I don't want. So then here's the important part. At the end, we're just gonna go ahead and make this chain conditional always active, chain conditional always active. And then of course, at the very end here, we have to remove 
um, some dirt here. So we'll do scoreboard, players, set, classic Tim, dirt. Well, actually, I want to do players remove classic Tim, dirt. And that will remove one piece of dirt every time a piece of dirt is spawned in. There we go. Okay. So now we're good to go ahead and add this redstone torch back. And this will probably start that number going down. And if we look, there's our 65 pieces of dirt. So this is the way we're importing all of our items. It's a little bulky. I would much rather prefer to just have these four command blocks instead of having to invert the signal here um, because this also adds a, a delay. Now it won't, the, the, the delay only comes into factor when the whole chest is filled. So with just these three command blocks, I can fill the chest, but it would just keep going on and on forever, even if the chest was full and we'd lose all the items in our stock. So for example, let's just go ahead and test this and we'll put all of these like that. And then I'm gonna grab some extra dirt here just to prove my point. We only need a little bit. Okay, so now we have this much dirt. We have more dirt. Well, we have 64 and 13. Now, the, the reason I have it so it detects whether all the slots are filled is because once it gets to the last slot, there's a delay before it shuts off. So the last slot will get filled up um, with, with, with the uh, remaining um, dirt from the delay. So let's take, well, no, I want these actually. So if I were to put this in here, this would go here. And then once this was filled, it should stop. So if there was no delay, it would look like this. Just fill this up as much as it can, move on to the next one, and then stop. But if I go ahead and put these in our input chest here, you'll see that's starting to fill up, and it goes up to six. And we've stored the extra seven. And the reason this goes up to six is because for some reason there's a five tick delay between the comparator, piece of redstone, and when this uh, command block stops firing and allows five extra dirt to go in there when it shouldn't. So this is no problem. All it really does, and as you can see, we filled up the rest of um, our dirt there. So if this were to happen to fill up all the way, every stack would still be 64 except for the last one. That's not much of a problem at all. And the only time that items could possibly be, del be deleted is if it was on the last uh, second to last stack and you filled it up a bunch, then it could overflow. But ideally, you wouldn't be filling up this chest at all. You'd just throw them in here in the first place and then just have that um, be automatically deposited. Now, obviously this is also an automatic sorting system because anything we have here, we can just you know, add more of these to add to our systems and then just add more of these to have all the extra chests. So yeah, we pretty much have infinite storage for anything that I wanna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven command blocks and a bit of redstone um, and we can have infinite storage of any item with a little bit of work. So let's go ahead and I need more stone to make more command blocks. Of all the things I would think that would limit, be limiting me from making more command blocks, I didn't think stone was gonna be one of them. And then we can go ahead and add, I wanna add wheat to this system because then if we go ahead and do scoreboard objectives, add wheat and make that, I always hit tab there, I don't want to. I, want, I just wanna make it dummy wheat dummy and go over here instead of having this where we have it deposit into a chest we can just come over here and if it does that instead of add it to that chest simply do scoreboard objectives it's not scoreboard players set classic tim wheat one not set add i want to add And let's test that out. Players, no, I want scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, wheat. So it's currently set to zero. And 
and now items will no longer go into here, so I can go ahead and break this and this. And there we go, one grew, and we got one wheat from it. I should not have stood up here. Oh, I knew I was going to break one. So yeah, now this will just automatically deposit its wheat contents into our uh, digital storage, as you could call it. Let's eat some bread here. And look, we're already up to two. Let's grab that hoe and put this one piece of wheat back. So now not only is this wheat farm extremely efficient, it's also wireless. Oh wow, we're already up to four. Pretty sweet. All right, so we can come back over here and then we just wanna add three more command blocks over here so we can deposit this wheat. But as you can see, if I try and put that in there, it's just gonna come into here because it's not currently being um, added to the system. And then we just need to add something like this again for the uh, the wheat. Now this um, is not, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of lost my train, train of thought. Oh yeah, this is not um, totally efficient for every single item in the game. That would take a ton of command blocks and it's really not worth it for anything we don't, we're not gonna have a lot of. So this will be our bulk storage for say, you know, cobblestone, maybe iron, um, dirt, gravel, the stuff we just get a ton of that we do not need. And then um, everything else will just kind of store normally because this would just, you know, this would just be tedious to, to replace this with all these items. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode, I promise we're gonna stop throwing things um, everywhere, every which way and actually start building a house. So looking forward to that, but Remember, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.